Hello, this is Ken. Welcome to the Information Nation. Hey, I can see that the TSA has been at it again. Uh, everything from checking the diapers of newborns to checking the diapers of a 95-year-old woman who was uh, on her way home to visit family in the last stages of leukemia. That's a wonderful organization we've got. I'm not going to talk too much. I'm not going to talk about their groping today. But what I am going to talk about is it's your turn to be groped. Hey, isn't that great? Um, I have an article here. It's on my website. Surprise! TSA is searching your car, subway, ferry, bus, and plane. Uh, if you think you can avoid the TSA body scanners and pat down by taking Amtrak, think again. Even your daily commute isn't safe TSA uh, from TSA screenings. And because the TSA is working with Immigration and Custom Enforcement, ICE, and Border Patrol, you may have your immigration status uh, examined along with your junk. As part of the TSA's uh, request for fiscal year 2012 funding, TSA Administrator Jack Pistol told Congress last week that the TSA conducts 8,000 unannounced security screenings every year. These screenings conduct with law, uh, local law enforcement agencies as well as immigration can be as simple as checking out cargo in a busy seaport but more and more they seem to be involved in giving airport style pat downs and screening to unsuspecting passengers at bus terminals, ferries and subways. These surprise visits are part of the TSA's Viper program. Visible intermodal prevention and response. Who comes up with this stuff? The Viper program first started doing searches in 2007, has grown since then. Currently, the TSA has only 25 Viper teams doing these impromptu searches. In 2012, it wants to get 12 more. Isn't it nice? You can be on your way on vacation, you get stopped on the highway, patted down, searched, your car can get searched, hey, your wife can get groped, your kids can get fondled. This is wonderful from these jackbooted thugs. <laughs> don't you feel safe? I know I do. If they pull you over and grope you and do a pat down and search your car, I feel a lot safer because you've been patted down. These people are idiots. TSA conducting security exercise. Now this one here should really, really interest you. Today the Transportation Security Administration and several federal state and local agencies will participate uh, in a scheduled exercise designed to enhance security in the Ohio, West Virginia area. TSA has partnered with local law enforcement to conduct thousands of similar oper operations from coast to coast. This is a scheduled operation not related to a specific threat. But I want you to listen. It's, not, it, it's an exercise now, so let's not go panicky. Let's not all go crawl in our nuclear bunkers and lock the doors. But I want you to listen to this. Listen very carefully because this should scare the hell out of you. The exercise will cover approximately 5,000 square miles throughout Ohio, Kentucky, and West Virginia. The participating teams are composed of a variety of TSA assets, including Federal Air Marshals, canine teams, inspectors and bomb appraisal officers. They will be joined by state and local law enforcement officials to supplement existing resources, provide detection and response capabilities. Here it comes. The exercise will utilize multiple airborne assets, including Black Hawk helicopters, fixed wing aircraft, as well as waterborne and surface teams. Black Hawk helicopters. I don't know about you, but I've always seen Black Hawk helicopters as a combat type of aircraft. You know, they, they shoot missiles at people and other things. Uh, it says here the exercise not only enhances security throughout the region, it gives TSA and other security partners the opportunity to work cooperatively, said TSA Columbus Federal Security Director Donald Baker, or Barker. This work increases our preparedness to respond in case of emergency. You may be out there hunting. They may see you. Two Sidewinder missiles come in. You don't get the deer. They do. 
What a load of crap. <coughs> Federal partners participating with the TSA in the operation include the Army Corps of Engineers, the U.S. Coast Guard, FBI, and Federal Air Marshals. Now this is from the Marinetta uh, Times. State of Ohio participants include the uh, Ohio National Guard, State Highway Patrol, Emergency Management Agency, Department of Natural Resources, Department of Public Safety, Department of Transportation, Department of Homeland Security, City of Columbus, Fire Division, Bomb Squad, Ohio Fusion Center, several sheriff's offices and departments of emergency management. Anybody ever heard of fusion centers? If you haven't, you're not paying attention. Westbury and Virginia participants include the Department of the Department of Military Affairs and Public Safety, Division of Natural Resources, State Police, Office of Homeland Security, West Virginia National Guard, West Virginia Fusion Center, several sheriff's offices and Department of Emergency Management. In addition to federal and state and local assets, several other non-governmental uh, entities are participating in today's operation. Well, in the first place, what are military aircraft doing operating inside the continental United States along with the military? Number two, if you haven't heard about fusion centers, you haven't been listening to anybody. You've been asleep at the switch. Let me tell you what they are. In World War II, they weren't called fusion centers, they were called concentration camps. <coughs> you know, little, little places like Auschwitz. That's exactly what they are, people. The TSA, if you'll remember correctly, when Barack Obama was running for president, he wanted a civilian organization that was just as powerful and just as well equipped as the military, and he's getting it with the TSA. And now they're going around having all of these exercises. I'm sorry, 5,000 square miles? 5,000 square miles? What are you going to find in 5,000 square miles? If you can do this in 5,000 square miles, you think you can't do it all over the United States? This is getting out of control. Totally out of control. You can read more about this on my website. Uh, go to theinformationnation.com. And you can see all of the articles there. They're linked to the uh, websites that have the full articles. I only have little brief descriptions on there. Hey, it's uh, 4th of July weekend this weekend. And uh, got a special radio show going. Hope you'll tune in. Go to the website, click on the link. It'll take you right to Orion Talk Radio. And you uh, click on the listen now, listen live, and... There I'll be. Got a one-hour show this week. And uh, starts at 10 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock Central, 7 o'clock Pacific time. I hope you tune in. It's going to be very interesting 4th of July special program. So this is Ken for the Information Nation. Uh, I hope you gained a uh, little bit of knowledge from this, a little bit of insight. I hope it rattled your cage a little bit. Think about those fusion centers. And... Uh, if you don't tune into the radio station, but you have watched this video, you have a very nice 4th of July weekend. Be safe. Enjoy it. Maybe the last one we get before the Messiah, King Obama, decides to take everything away from us. Have a nice 4th of July. Bye-bye.